One of the top mistakes that parents make is not having a conversation with your kids at a young age about money. It's always been told us, it's full paw to talk about your income. I have a business partner upstairs. I love him. He's making great money. To this day, his parents refuse to talk to them about how much they've ever made in their life, how much they have saved away or anything financial. They literally sit there and avoid it like the plague. Guys, you are doing your children a disservice. For the majority of our viewers who don't have kids yet, please listen to this because it's really important. If you want to have very smart financial kids, you need to have open conversations with them about money. When I was a kid, both my parents were doctors and I was getting into investing in money. About fifth or sixth grade, I was really into money. And I said to my dad, something about how much do you make? He said, Paul, I'm not going to tell you until you're in high school. The second you go to high school, ask me the question, I'll tell you. And sure enough, when I went to high school, I asked my father, dad, how much money do you make? And he told me. And I was first off like, listen, you cheap SOB. What the heck are you doing all this time? Not, not buying that we should be buying. But he had open conversations with me about money, how much he made, how much he saved, things like that. Now, are my parents flawless? Absolutely not. They, I don't like the way they approach money in general for other reasons, but I love the fact that they're open to me about their money. You know why? Because I'm entering high school and here I am and a car is a couple years away and I'm starting to get into how do I look? I want to spend money on clothes. And it's now starting to understand, like, what about trips? What are we doing here? It was about understanding what it took for me to live the lifestyle I wanted to live. That was crucial. But the thing that my parents did so great was, Paul, we make all this money. And my parents are very successful financially. And they spent a small percentage of their money. Now, the reason I liked that was because it showed me that don't just spend money to spend money. But I think my parents were a little too tight on some things. And they kind of looked at money as it's a faux pas to spend it, which I don't think was the right aspect. But even them, they've both changed in that over time. Because I think at that point, they're just new to starting to make some good money. But the point is, I got started early in investing by watching my parents save money. And even before high school, my parents telling me how much they made, my dad still had me meet with him and his financial planner when they looked at mutual funds and bought mutual funds. That was really important to me to see the, have the idea that here's my father has a good quarter, a good month, and he saved a lot of money. Now, did we take wonderful vacations? Absolutely. Do we have a beautiful house and great cars? Absolutely. I went to private school. I went to college. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff because my parents saved a lot of money. But it started with me back then in terms of understanding that the world operated on money and the world operated on how much you bring in and how much you send out. But so many parents, and it's funny, I have kids ask me questions and their parents will say, don't ask me that question. And I'll say, no, ask the question. I'll be honest. When people ask me how much I make, first off, I don't even know. And not because of any other reason than my view of money has changed. I used to view my income as my, this is what I am as a person. And now I look at it as money serves a purpose for me to give me freedom. So as long as I know I can get that freedom with my income, I just want to make sure it's going up. And how do I make sure it's going up? All of my investments, are they better today? Are they better this year than they were last year? If the answer is yes, great. Now you might sit there and say, well, that's a terrible way to look at things. It's not. Because I felt for myself that if I focused too much on how much money I was making, it put my focus in the wrong area, as opposed to how much freedom do I have? And if I focus too much on how much money I'm making, I might spend more than I want to. I might do something I don't want to do in order to make money that I don't necessarily want to make it in the process I want to make it. So for you, as a potential parent, either now or in the future, please do yourself a favor of learning how to talk to your kids about money. One of the most important things you need to figure out for yourself is, what does money mean to you? And remember, your kids will be different. Your kids might not look at money the same way, and that's okay. But making sure your kids save and are responsible with money, that's what matters. If you love baseball cards and you like to buy baseball cards, more power to you. If your kid likes watches like I do, just let them like watches. It's about being responsible when you make those acquisitions. There shouldn't be any fear in money. There should be the idea of using it as a way to provide freedom. But in the society in which we live, you can't talk about money. So there's already that fear right there. And people spend a ton. So there's the fear of not being able to live the life you want to live down the road. And that to me is the tragic part. And there's so many parents that I advise in their 40s and 50s, not advise, but advise. But when I'm talking to them, friends of mine, they'll always say, damn, I wish I'd heard these things when I was a kid. Every person who's 30 or older 
will, when they start to learn about saving and compounding interest, they always say one thing and one thing only. Damn, I wish I learned this when I was a kid. So do your kid that favor and do exactly that. I'm not telling you to be honest about your income because they might go rattle off their friends or whatever it is. But if you trust your kid at some point, tell them, hey, listen, we're going to have a conversation, but I trust that this stays between us. Let's talk about this as a family. It's okay to talk to your kids about, hey, it's a little tight this month. We can't necessarily do X, Y, and Z. That, I think that's okay to say that. I think it's okay to have a conversation with your kid about, hey, things are a little tight. We might have lost our job or we got cut back in hours or something like that. But if you show your kids you're saving every single month, you're instilling in them the habits that will make them very wealthy. And that's what matters. Start their 529 plans. Go start them on a little savings account. One thing that my dad said to me, which he never ended up doing, but he was very generous to me in other ways, that I've decided to do for my heirs is every dollar you save, I will match because it encourages saving. Now, the caveat I put in there is you have to save X percent first. Like, I don't want you to say, oh, I was going to save 20% before, but since you're going to match it, I'm going to do 10%. No, it's about adding on to it. Incur reward the habits you want to reward. So if your kid's in high school, tell them to get a job and tell them, hey, if you save 20%, 25% or 50% of your paycheck, I will match that in a savings account and put it into a brokerage. What a wonderful way to get a return on investment for your kid and reward them for doing the habit you want them to do. That's what you need to do. Don't be afraid to have conversations about money. Hey, you know what? We'd love to get this car, but if we get this car, it means we can't do X, Y, and Z. It shows people what life really is about. It's about trade-offs. We can't do everything 10 out of 10. We got to pick some things we're going to be a two out of 10, some we're not just going to do, and other things we're really going to value. And we're going to, like I had a friend of mine when I was a kid, their thing was one amazing trip per year. And every extra dollar they saved above their savings account was dedicated to that trip. So in the 90s, they would take a twenty, thirty thousand dollars trip per year as a family. Guys, that's a lot today. But back then, but their big thing was we're going to spend 10% of our household income on this trip. And they loved it. And to this day, the kids talk about how wonderful those trips were. And those kids are very well, well-adjusted adults who don't, aren't brat. They just always valued one thing and they spent that money. And I love it. And I think that's awesome. So please do yourself and your kids that favor. Have conversations with them about money. Don't make it seem like money is easy because if you don't talk to them about money, but you buy things without an explanation, they're going to think you just buy stuff whenever you want it. That's not the way you want your kids to grow up. And take it from me, I appreciate it so much that my parents talked to me about money and showed me every single month that they saved. And that just because their income went up 10 times doesn't mean they spent 10 times more money. Now, did they spend more money? Absolutely. But they didn't go, it wasn't dollar for dollar as things went up. If you're new to this channel, I'm Paul. I'm a value investor. My goal is to use our eight pillar process in our software to find investments where price and value are disconnected. When they're disconnected because of some sort of public perception and not a change in the business fundamentals, I like to go out and buy that. So if you want to learn more, we made a great video that you have to watch about handing your kids a million dollars for their retirement. Thank you very much for your time.